guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Be Fly Beauty. And today I wanted to go through four base products I have been trying lately in a lot of different ways and I have some thoughts. Um, I think this video is a little weird coming from me um, because I really don't wear base products that much, um, but I've been working really hard for you guys and not just wearing my typical concealer. I am going to put, I don't know which side I'm gonna put it on, um, but I am gonna put um, a little tile up that has this information for you. Um, and then I will link the four products down below. Um, we're gonna start with the thickest um, and the one I liked the least, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, okay, I'm really sad about this one because you guys, I really, really was so freaking pumped to try this. Um, and this is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Um, oh, let me actually get to the side, unlike the last time when I got to the middle. And I have some notes here. Okay, so the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. All right, 15 bucks, pretty high price for e.l.f. Um, I'm thinking, okay, if it's 15 bucks, it's gotta be really juicy and delicious, right? Um, eh, eh. Uh, you can find this at Ulta, you can find this on the e.l.f. website, you can find this at almost every drugstore, Target, Walmart, etc. Like I said, it's like 15 bucks. It's a very thick product, definitely full coverage. Um, I think, I mean, you can shear out anything, right? You can shear out anything. So I did try this in a lot of different ways, mixed with a lot of different products, put on um, top of different moisturizers, using sponges, using brushes, um, going with the teeniest, tiniest bit, um, and yeah. Okay, so full coverage for sure. My version of full coverage. Um, I think if you shear it out, it's more medium to full, right? If you shear it out for the reasons I'm about to talk about, I do recommend the best way to use this is a sponge. And look, I know that there's some people on this planet that like this. It is just not, it is not for me. And guys, I have, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I've watched reviews on people with more dry skin because this is supposed to be an emollient, dewy looking, thing and it just did not turn out that way at all first of all the color range is weird um what color do i have i have light 210 n it's too dark it's too dark the light is too dark and so i have a feeling that the fair is going to be too light so this is the second color up i believe and it was actually super duper orange on me um okay let's see what i wrote here um, definitely cakey, no matter which way. Um, I don't have a ton of fine lines in my forehead. I am getting this deep one right here. Well, deep for me. Um, within, like, if I wear a typical foundation, CC cream, whatever, you know, it might be cakey-ish at first, but once my oils and my skin, because I'm an oily person, blends in with it, you don't see the fine lines. It just looks glowy and beautiful. And that's the beauty of having oily skin. This, no. It, by, it doesn't matter if it was the beginning, middle of the day, end of the day, it looked cakey, it looked dry, it got into my fine lines, and this is what some of the other reviews were saying, that it made your skin look dry. So if you have dry skin, I don't see how this is going to work. If you have oily skin, it might work for you if you have different skin than me. It did not even work for me. It looked cakey and dry on me, and I am very, very oily. I do think if you try it, definitely use a sponge. Um, definitely start with the smallest amount possible and make sure that you have really prepped the skin, you've exfoliated, you have moisturized, all the things. If you are someone who loves this one, please let me know down below. If you want me to give this to you, let me know because I really don't even want it anymore. To me, this is not even as, this is not even good to mix. Um, I did not like this in any way, shape, or form. So I don't recommend that, but like I said, if you have it, please let me know what you think. Um, okay, number two is the Purito, I got stuff all over it. The Purito Circa Clearing BB Cream. Mine is the second shade out of four, out of four, I mean, a hideous shade range. Um, so I have number 23, Natural Beige. Um, I have not been able to find out the uh, number of SPF. I do believe that this is a mineral sunscreen. If I am wrong, I will put that up on the, uh, up on the screen here. Um, 
I don't know, again, the number of SPF, the level, but I do know that it has a, a, an SPF in it at, at, at some range. Um, you can buy this on Yes Style. You can buy this on Amazon. Amazon was beautiful. Again, you know, like two, two days per the use. 10 bucks, super affordable. A lot of people really love this one. Um, I would say that this one is um, a medium thickness. The CC, the Elf CC cream was definitely a very, very thick, thick product. This is more of a medium thickness, um, but it gives more of a light to medium coverage. I still think that this one is better with a sponge, just like the Elf one. Um, if you are a cool to neutral skin tone, you will be able to use this. If I use this um, in like a normal capacity, it's actually too gray for my skin tone. So I've talked about before that I'm a neutral person, right? So I do have a, a pink cool base, but there's a little bit of redness in my skin and yellowness in my skin. So I do purchase more neutral tones to cancel out the redness. This actually was too new, was too cool tone for me and it actually dulled my skin. It was too um, grayish, uh, which sounds scary, but if you are of a cool skin tone, this is actually really lovely. And I am going to keep this because it's a beautiful mixer because if you are more neutral, things tend to be very, very orange and you need a little bit of a more pinky base to mix in to kind of cancel that out. So I've talked about this a lot, but when you are looking for a more neutral tone product, you tend to get something more yellow, more orange. It's actually very hard to find a true neutral uh, foundation or CC cream. So when I wear this in a very light way or I mix it, I do really like it but anything more full coverage, which it can build, I don't like it on my skin. It actually cakes up a little bit, um, kind of like the e.l.f. one, um, but on a lighter um, application, it looks really lovely. It is not, to me, um, other reviewers talked about it being a very glowy uh, finish. I thought it was more of a regular skin finish, so not matte, not dewy, not oily, not flat, but just your typical skin, which if that's something you're looking for, I think this is great. 10 bucks, you cannot beat this. Um, and it's the typical amount, it's an ounce. Um, like I said, I do prefer it with a sponge and I actually do prefer to use it as a mixer um, because if I want more coverage, I can't really use too much of it because the color tone doesn't look good and then it does get a little cakey on my skin. I think if you have any sort of warmth to your skin at all, this would not be for you. But yeah, if you have, like I said, neutral to cool, I would recommend trying it. Most people love this um, and weirdly enough, I found that on my oily skin, it did not get too dewy. So I don't know if I'm doing this one wrong, um, but people with dry skin rave, rave, rave about this. So le again, let me know if you've tried any of these, but especially this one, um, yeah, I, very intriguing, very intriguing. Okay, so, third, I have the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I actually have two colors of this. This one is only four to five bucks depending on where you get it. I mean, it's Wet n Wild, so you guys know, drugstore, Target, Ulta, Walmart, anywhere, the Wet n Wild website. Um, because it is only four to five bucks, I got two to mix. I got light and fair. The light was pretty much too dark on its own. Um, the fair is a little too light, so mixed together, you know, just right. Um, they are also one ounce. Actually, it's a little under one ounce. Um, but like I said, for four to five bucks, I mean, you can't really beat that. Um, these have hyaluronic acid and squalene in it and no SPF. So that's my biggest complaint on these. No SPF whatsoever, so kind of disappointing, but we should be wearing sunscreen anyway. So if you're someone who doesn't care if there's SPF, definitely recommend that for you. Um, this is a very liquidy product, not thick at all like the first two I talked about. I think you can really get up to a medium coverage on it, um, depending on how you build it up. I like a more light application anyway. I find that they mix really well. You can use this one with a sponge or a brush. 
and this one layers really, really nicely. I forgot to say that the Purita one, depending on how much you put on, will depend on what layers nicely on top, especially concealer. Like too much of this did not mix well with concealer, but a lighter application did. The Wet n Wild one um, definitely could mi mix well with any of the concealers I had, any of the other products on top. Um, just mixed really, really nicely. Especially, like I said, you know, if you want to buy a couple colors depending on you know the season, um, or maybe they don't have the color for you because I don't really think that it has a huge color range. Um, it's affordable and they mix really nicely. So I'd say if you can find your color in this product, it would be worth a purchase to try. Again, if you don't mind there not being any sort of SPF in it. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a great mixer. It's a great, just light to medium, throw it on, looks nice. It definitely gets dewy, which I love. So if you have drier skin, I think this is something that you would love. I mean, it's got squalene and hyaluronic acid in it. So it's definitely for drier skin types, but me being an oily skin person, I still loved it because I don't want anything that's flat. I actually enjoy a do, but you know, it's not going to last me 24 hours. Um, it's definitely going to break up. And honestly, none of these wear well under a mask, to be honest, for my oily skin type anyway. Okay. Lastly, we have my number one favorite. Um, so these kind of went down in order of thickness and favorites. So the most thick, least favorite, next thickness next favorite in the number two spot for thickness and fave um and then like i said my favorite but not necessarily i guess in thickness so that was a total lie <laughs> my favorite in product is the l'oreal age perfect radiant serum foundation and this has spf 50. so this is for um you know marketed toward uh, more mature skin. Um, I freaking love it, which is weird because it is the most dewy out of all of them. Um, and I would say that this is more, um, of a medium thickness as it comes out. Well, that's a lie. It's a light thickness, but definitely medium coverage. You can make it more of a light coverage depending on how you apply it and how much you apply. Um, so you're always going to get a lighter coverage with a sponge, right? Cause it sucks it up. So if you want to use a brush, you're going to get that more full coverage. This, this can definitely build up to full coverage if that's what you want. Um, not in like an Instagram full coverage way, but in like an everyday person kind of full coverage way. I wear it in a more light to medium fashion. It mixes really beautifully. It, um, like with other foundations, it mixes really well with all different kinds of concealers. Very similar to the Wet n Wild one when it comes to mixing and layering and staying power. There are 30 shades of this one, which I really appreciate. I did not get the right color the first time because Ulta apparently sucks on um, how they are taking pictures of their color choices online. Um, all the things I've purchased from Ulta uh, skin, like concealer base wise, has been off every time. Um, so I definitely recommend not getting this on Ulta.com, but looking in person. Um, hopefully wherever you go has all 30, but you know, you might have to pick and choose because <laughs> I know where I got mine in person did not have all 30 shades. This is the most foundation-y out of the whole bunch. Um, I mean, this is the thickest, um, but this is the most traditional foundation feeling. Um, again, I think you can get anything from light to full with this, depending on how you apply and what you mix it with. This is one ounce and this can be anywhere between 12 to $16, depending on where you get it. So this had a really big range on price, which I thought was very interesting, but the typical drugstore L'Oreal Maybelline pricing is kind of like that, right? Like getting it on Ulta versus getting it at Walmart, getting it on the L'Oreal website versus getting it at CVS. So they all different, definitely have their, um, price ranges, if you know what I'm saying. Um, again, this is my favorite. I don't know guys. I, wh when did I become a foundation person? I don't think this is something I would wear every day, but if I want that coverage, this is the one I would pick out of the four. I also think that this one really could go to any skin type. I think the biggest thing you have to decide is what kind of finish you want, right? Are you looking for something super matte, more skin-like, or more dewy? 
and then what kind of skin type do you have to mix with that, and then how are you prepping your skin? Um, so if you have questions about that, let me know. I can definitely help with that. Um, but yeah, I think I do a really vigorous morning routine with acids and vitamin C and SPF and moisturizer and all the things. And so that does affect how your foundation or BB cream or whatever stays on the skin. Um, I have an oily skin type. I have a more mature, mature, <laughs> mature skin type. And I like more of a natural to dewy skin finish. So hopefully you enjoyed this very quick-ish thorough-ish review. Let me know if you tried any of these down below. Let me know your favorite. Let me know which one you are looking forward to trying out and if you have a recommendation for me. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.